When I was getting a baby, you told me I'd suck as a mother. Now that I've lost it, you tell me I'd be great as a mother. Why do you need to negate everything? Always wanted to open a bottle of champagne with one of these things. You might want to stand behind me for this. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I think I might have <laughs> got that slightly wrong. I'll kill you. When the time comes, if you want me to. Do it now if you like. Yeah, I've got a baseball bat in the back. I'd rather live in his world, live in his world, world without him. In my world, world his world is his. My world, his his and hers alone. And I've got to go. World, I've got to go. Would you pray with me? No. I'm not in the habit of encouraging my patient's superstitions. How is that a habit? You plan on getting trapped under a building again? I don't believe in God. I don't either. Please. Wanna know my secrets, sit back and let me explain it My pop split, mama got sick, cliche ain't it Now I'm a manic Hispanic, I'm trying to make it work But the doctors think I'm lazy And my roommate is a jerk Dr. House is in the house, y'all. Give it up for Dr. House to the stage, y'all. Uh, aging Dr. House to the stage, y'all. <laughs> Are you there, Dr. House? It's on. Bring it on. <laughs> on. Oh, y'all, he's coming to the stage, y'all. Uh, uh, it's Dr. House on the remix. Dr. House on the remix. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say to take their pills. They say don't be a creep. But how can I get better? I can't get no sleep. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood for bacon. And you're obviously trying to avoid talking about Cutner which is odd because you spent a whole week obsessing about why... He's no longer on my team. I'm sorry, he's no longer on my team. There's nothing else to talk about. You're wearing the watch he gave you for Secret Santa. Five functions, including a stopwatch. It's time how long it takes you to ask me if I'm okay. Okay, see, now you're just being stubborn. It's cold, perfectly good excuse to wear your lab coat. Carly needs a heart transplant. Thoracentesis revealed a transidate? I haven't gotten it back yet. Her MUGA scan, what was the ejection fraction? Maybe you could treat it surgically. I haven't done the MUGA. How do you know she needs a heart transplant? I got my aura read today. It said someone close to me had a broken heart. Since when do I need the secret passcode to talk to you? I can't tell you anything. Professional responsibility. Like that matters to you. Not my professional responsibility, yours. 
the regime, you gotta keep your head down too. Now that's good thinking because I was gonna go right to Cuddy and rat you out as soon as you were done I'm talking. I'm not saying you want to, I'm saying you'd be obligated to. Because of my position on the board? Because of my position on the transplant committee? Hey, you brought this up for a reason. You need to talk to me. I can't. You sure you're doing the right thing? I've come up with a few really great rationalizations. He only had a learner's permit. It was raining. I deserve this. No, you don't. <laughs> he could always get me to do what he wanted. He's always been my muse. Well, that may be true, but I've been reviewing your muse's autopsy results. It wasn't the crash that killed him. Your son had a brain aneurysm. That's why he crashed. He was dead before the impact. There was nothing you could do to save him. They would have told me. They had no reason to dig any deeper. It was a car accident. But I did. It's easy to miss. But you can see the blood build up here. Your son would have died that day on a bus in school, sitting on his bed. The only thing the crash is killing is you. But we can end up causing another cardiac arrest. Hopefully. And we'll know what set it off. He means it's better to do it here where we can revive him than have it happen somewhere else. The prodigal son is returned. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go slaughter a fatted calf for lunch. It was Dr. Gregory House reassuring Kenny and his father. I care about your son. The charming house, who happens to be a film buff with a soft spot in his heart for children, told us how he got his start. See, I became a doctor because of the movie Patch Adams. Determined to save the boy's life, as well as keep him oh. from having reconstructed Well, it's nice of them to send us an early copy. Not so much sent as stolen. In the end, it was Dr. Gregory House who served as not only a doctor, but a rock for Kenny and his father. You're putting your trust in someone who does think the surgery is important. House. One of those rare doctors who wears his heart on his sleeve. I was saying that was a stupid thing to do. It's difficult not to be moved. Oh, stop it. Suddenly I don't feel I can trust Michael Moore movies. Where are you going? Kittens to get out of trees, deaf kids to read to. I owe it to the world to make sure this evil never sees the light of day. Is there anything else? Thank you, Dr. House. 